Honestly, finding the empirical formula from percent mass is pretty hard, I think. And first of all, you have to know the difference between empirical formula and molecular formula. Uh, take something like sugar, you know, glucose, which is C6H12O6. And that's the actual molecular formula for glucose. The uh, empirical formula is really nothing more than a reduced version of that. So if you talked about just ratios, you would see that actually, if we reduce the whole thing by six, you would have CH2O. And what that means is, while this is the real actual molecular formula for, for sugar, glucose, this is the empirical formula. For every one C, you have two H's and one O. So that's an important thing to distinguish. But there's, a, there's problems you'll come across in your class, and they're, and they're pretty difficult. So like, here's a classic problem. They'll give you a percent mass for each guy, and then they'll ask you to set up an empirical formula. So I have a problem written down here. Okay, so it says, find the <laughs> empirical formula from the percentage by mass. If you had 85.6% carbon, and then again, that's by mass, and you had 14.4% hydrogen. Uh, they want you to find an empirical formula. And how would I even know this? They might, you know actually uh, take this solution and separate them out and weigh them. So this is a given though. What you do, follow me, this is pretty trippy, this is kind of hard. What you do is you take each one, one at a time. Okay, well first we'll look at our carbon and we'll say, if it's 85.6% by mass, we can call this, we can change this to 85.6 grams, okay? Um, and that is 85.6 grams out of 100 grams, whatever. For hydrogen, we take this and we call this 14.4 grams. Okay, that's step one. If there was a third atom, we could do it down here and keep going. Okay, this is where it gets weird. In order to set up your, your empirical formula, you actually need this in moles. So as you know from previous lectures, you can go look back. Converting grams to moles, you would say, I don't want grams, I want moles, right? These grams are gonna cancel. Same thing down here, you're gonna say, to get rid of grams, I don't want grams, I want moles. Then the question is, where do you actually find grams per mole? How do you know grams per mole of carbon? How do you know grams per mole of hydrogen? And that has to do with the periodic table, right? It turns out that I'm a hyper nerd, and I actually memorized, that's sort of, I looked them up like five seconds ago. Um, I actually know that this is 12 grams per mole for carbon. Again, you find that on the periodic table. And hydrogen is one gram per mole. So we're getting there. We're gonna convert each into moles, okay? I did this problem earlier, and I think I got, actually, let me look at my notes. When you divide 85.6 by 12, you get roughly 7, pretty close to 7 on the dot, okay? And then if you do this, 14.4 divided by 4 is obviously 14.4. So we have 7 moles of um, carbon, and we have 14.4 moles of hydrogen. From there, all you do is really say this. Well, now this would be C7. H, we'll call that 14, close enough. That's the hard part, is you do kind of have to round. But this isn't the reduced version, right? This is not the empirical formula. I have seven C's and 14 H's. The way to do the reduced version of this is you divide both by the smallest guy. Is seven the smallest guy or 14.4? Obviously seven. Divide him by seven, oops, divide him by seven, and you get one, divide him by seven, and you get two, so you have C, H2, C1, normally you don't write that H2. And that's it, I actually think it's pretty hard. Usually I sit here and tell you how easy things are. This one's pretty difficult, but that's it. You start with the percentages, you get them into grams, convert them to moles, and then from there it's pretty easy to see the ratio of seven to 14 or one to two. And that's it, that's how you do these. They're, they're pretty straightforward once you understand that. And remember, if you struggle uh, in this, in your local high school, you could take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will then be transferred back to you.